Hi, my name is Julia Lester. I'm from the Disney Plus original series, High School Musical the Musical the series, and you are listening to Sounds of Series. Yeah, so um, I actually come from a, a long line of performers. Um, acting and singing and performing in general um, goes pretty up in my family tree, or pretty far up in my family tree. So um, it was kind of always in my nature to um, be put into dance and theater and performing in some way to kind of see if I liked it just because my sisters were doing it, my parents were doing it, um, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. So had I not been interested like everybody else in my family, I would have totally had the freedom to go explore other, um, you know, other other kid activities and things like that. But I really stuck to performing and um, that's what really got me into it. And I, and I would say that my, my parents and my sisters are the people that inspired me the most because I grew up um, like, you know, when, when kids go watch their go um, hang out with their parents at work or something. My parents' work was always um, a show or being on set. And so I really grew up watching my parents and wanting to be just like them and, and work just like them. So um, yeah, that's what really got me interested. And then um, when High School Musical came along, it was just kind of like um, the just really, really perfect for me and something that I had never even dreamed would um, would happen. But it's it's everything I've, I, I love and I'm just really grateful to be a part of it. Ooh, best memories. Well, um, yeah, th this year was a little bit different just because our main priority was was keeping everybody safe. So our social gatherings were were quite limited this year just because we wanted to make sure that we were making the best show possible while maintaining, you know, really healthy behind the scenes. So a lot of our favorite memories um, started in season one and, and we tried to carry them over to season two as much as possible. But um, we, we started the tradition of having game nights um, we found that that was something that helped us bond a lot and something that we all had in common was our love of board games and card games and um, trivia games and literally hide and go seek. We played hide and go seek so many times. So um, yeah, th those those have been really cool memories to make behind the scenes and um, sharing this experience with people that I'm that I've grown really close to has been really special. Well, I would say it's really different than anything um, Disney has really done before, um, especially the tone of the show. Um, it's been described as kind of like um, The Office meets Glee meets docu-style, um, you know, waiting for Guffman. Um, so yeah, I would say it's, it's different than, than anything Disney has done and it's, uh, it's a really cool, um, I don't know. It's it's a it's a really cool show about teens. That that's just a really uh, different style and, and it's very meta. And, and I just think something that's never never been done before, or seen before, especially in this. Um, I mean, in this company. So it's yeah. I would say that <laughs> that was a lot of <laughs> random jumbled words. Oh my gosh, that's a hard one. It, it, it's, and I'm not saying this just to like be mushy, but literally every single person in the cast is hilarious in their own way. Um, so I don't know, I, I turn to different people when I want a different kind of laugh, but I will say if you put Frankie and Dara in the same room, everybody will just be, will just be peeing laughing. That's like probably the, the dynamic duo of, of comedy on set for me specifically. Who, uh, yeah, I would say um, elevated, um, surprising, and uh, extravagant. Ooh, um, which season is my favorite? Man, that's hard. I I love them both for their own in their own ways. I, I will say though that season two is just really like, I don't know, I think I think season two is gonna surprise a lot of people. So I don't know if I have a favorite, but I, I love season two, so. <laughs> oh, well, some of my favorite music comes from this new season. So I'll be excited when that comes out to talk about which ones um, I love, but um, from season one, my favorite would have to be Born to be Brave. Um, and I still listen to it to this day in the car. It's the best, 
just, I, yes, with the, all the windows rolled all the way down, perfect. <laughs> I, I would love to, s oh, I don't know if I could sing with her. I feel like I would be so nervous, but I would love to meet Sarah Bareilles at some point. Um, she's a big musical inspiration for me and also a big musical inspiration for Ashlyn, which I think is really cool. So um, yeah, yeah, I would want to meet with her, meet up with her and maybe overcome my fears and maybe try and sing with her. <laughs> Yeah, honestly. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I was late to the very first time we all met because, bless his heart, I I showed up to this the studio in LA where we were all first meeting and doing our first table read. And the the wonderful security guard sent me to the production office for the show instead of where the table read was happening. So I was like really lost and they were all sitting down and talking. And it was like a big long table of people and I walked in as the last person and it was very uncomfortable and being late is like my worst fear. I just, and I, it was horrible. So that was actually my first time meeting the cast and I was very embarrassed, but I'm sure nobody remembers that except for me. So um, yeah, but <laughs> it was at our first table read when we had not moved to Utah yet. And from the second we met, it was like we were all meshed and clicked and um, just super close. So yeah, but I was, my first impression of myself was that I was, I don't know, it embarrassed me so badly, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think there's always, um, there's always been a, a you know, a sense of a slight responsibility that's come with this show and with like, you know, continuing this, this legacy and the story in some way, if you, if you want to put it that way. But, um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. I think that Disney has always been wanting to rebrand High School Musical or continue it in some way since it came out because it was so legendary. And I mean, I'm sure you two, we grew up, grew up with the movies and like, you know, I, they were just still iconic and will always be iconic. So I think Disney was always trying to somehow bring that back and retelling the story in some way or remaking it or continuing that story was kind of never really working. The stories that were already told were perfect and beautiful in their own right and should live as themselves. So when Tim Federley came up with this idea to have a docu-style series about theater kids putting on a production of High School Musical, it was just kind of like the perfect thing that Disney had been looking for to keep High School Musical alive. but introduce this whole new cast of people and tell it in a completely new way so um there's always been a sense of slight responsibility but i think our show is 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 completely different enough that it's um yeah that it's it's not it's not too much pressure or stress to remake anything or or anything but um and it's always been received really well which has been the best part so um yeah but it's it's crazy because i you know i was saying like we grew up with the movies and to to be on a show that's called high school musical the musical the series is I can't even like even begin to put it into words how much it means to me. So, yeah. Ooh, I think we're all still itching for Zac Efron to make an appearance in some way. Even if he's not on the show, if he just comes to visit to say, hey, I think we all want Zac to be there. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm still pining for Zac, but that might be, I don't know, might be pining too high. <laughs> I've been really into Dua Lipa recently and levitating um, is so good. She's extraordinary. So yeah, that's been my current like go-to. Yes, there were a few. Um, the most recent one though was, I guess it wasn't that recent. It was actually a couple months ago, but I watched The Wilds on Amazon Prime um, and it was, so good so yeah that that was a that was a good escape during quarantine merci de nous écouter